artificial intelligence is a pretty cool technology that a lot of us are still learning about, but AI can actually change the world too. And that's what I want to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world reach the third stage of success of their digital transformation journeys. And artificial intelligence is something that's been emerging for a while now, but it's just now catching on. And a lot of organizations are looking hard at how they can use AI to make their organizations better. But as someone that grew up in the 80s and grew up with movies like Terminator and war games and things of that nature, there's been a sort of underlying fear of new technology that a lot of us have including artificial intelligence. For example, in Terminator, AI and robots aren't necessarily a good thing. They can be perceived as a bad thing. So what I want to do today is sort of shift gears from that mentality. So rather than talk about the perceived negativity of AI or the potential negativity of AI, I want to talk today about how AI just might be able to save the world. So for many, we might perceive artificial intelligence as something that's going to jeopardize or threaten our jobs. In other words, if we can automate our jobs or do things that humans typically would have done in the past in terms of the way they think and learn and that sort of thing, that could be perceived as a negative thing or something that could jeopardize someone's job. But another way to look at this is to say, rather than creating job loss, it could actually create job opportunity. What I mean by this is if we can automate manual parts of our jobs or things that don't require a lot of human thought or interaction, then what if we could spend more of our time doing more strategic activities and more thinking and planning and decision making? So if you think about your organization that you work with or for, there's probably a lot of manual work that gets done with spreadsheets and collecting data and out on the shop floor, there's a lot of manual processes still happening. But what if AI could take some of that away and make us as humans more strategic and more decision making? Could that lead to better fulfillment and better job satisfaction? Those are some things to think about as you think about how AI might be able to improve the employee experience within organizations throughout the world. Another way that AI may be able to change the world is to provide a better customer experience. In fact, we're already seeing this in many ways and we may not even realize it. So artificial intelligence is used by Amazon, by Alibaba, by Facebook, by Instagram, all of these consumer brands and products that we interact with every day are using AI to make our experience in life better. Same goes true for the potential for other types of organizations. If AI can be used to better anticipate demand and better match supply with demand or better match our product or service offering with what clients anticipated needs are, all that stuff can make the world a better place for us as consumers and as customers of other organizations. So this is an area where we're actually probably further along than many of us realize in that so many organizations are already using AI. However, it's just scratched the surface in terms of adoption by organizations. As you start to look at all the different organizations throughout the world that are not yet using AI, you can just imagine how powerful that would be if more organizations did do that to make their customer experience better. So taking this concept of customer experience one step further, is the concept of supply chain management. In the 2020s here today, many of us as consumers are experiencing firsthand supply chain bottlenecks and shortages and problems. And part of this is because organizations don't have the right data, they don't have the right visibility into their supply chains, and they're not fully maximizing the use of technology to better anticipate demand so that we can match supply to meet that demand. So the way this helps us as consumers is that we have less material outages. We have less products that are missing from the store shelves. We're actually able to get products faster. We're not having to wait on new cars. We're not having to wait 12 or 18 months as is the case with many auto manufacturers. AI may not be able to solve all the problems of geopolitical issues and pandemic related issues, but AI can do a better job of helping us navigate these curveballs and uncertainties in the future. So look to AI to really transform the way supply chains are running today into something that's more suitable to the future that makes our lives better as consumers and provides an upside to organizations in the way they manage their supply chains as well. Now, as we sort of work our way up Maslow's hierarchy of needs here and work our way from employee and customer experience and now talk about healthcare and our own health, AI is a great tool that is already making inroads in the healthcare space. 
And if you think about healthcare in general, it's such a big, broad discipline that involves a lot of science and a lot of data that no one person is going to be able to possibly learn on their own. And even collectively within a hospital or a healthcare organization, chances are there's some limited knowledge and blind spots that humans have. And so AI can be a great way to pull together all the data and science that's being advanced every day throughout the world to provide better outcomes for people looking for better healthcare. It also is a way to eliminate human error potentially to where misdiagnosis or missing certain symptoms or certain root causes of the symptoms might get overlooked by humans today. AI might be a good way to help anticipate and predict what the problems are and ultimately provide a more tailored plan to overcome those problems for better outcomes. So look to healthcare as a possibility for a way that AI can completely transform the world and make it a better place. So just as healthcare is a broad, complex, data-driven discipline, so too is the whole concept of climate change. And many of us in the world are concerned about climate change. We wanna fix it, we wanna do our part, we wanna better understand it. And there's so much data, science, and interpretation that goes into understanding climate change that it too is subject to human error, it's subject to politics, it's subject to human biases and all the different things that can undermine analysis and solutions. So AI could be a great way to take the mass amounts of data we have about the climate, the world around us, how humans are affecting climate, what other things externally from humans are affecting climate, and really give us better visibility and understanding and learning into what we can do to improve climate change. So this is a sort of a pie in the sky example of how AI could be used to make the world a better place. We're nowhere near to using AI in this capacity, but it is an area that you might see AI transform in the future to make the world a better place. So I hope this has given you some things to think about this new emerging technology, AI, and how it might relate to the world in general and improving the state of the world. And hopefully it takes away or mitigates some of those perceived negativities that some have as it relates to artificial intelligence and other emerging technologies. So I hope you found this information useful and I hope you have a great day.